I want to talk a little bit about goal setting and goal achieving because I feel like I've hit the nail on the head with why people don't achieve their goals. And I'm going to share a bit of a, a personal example here. So yesterday I hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and the number doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. It could be really small for some people. It could be really big for others. Um, it, for me, it's significant, right? And you can see by the smile on my face how much it means to me. But every time I've hit this milestone or whatever milestone I've had with my YouTube, for example, because I've had lots of little milestones to get to this point, I've always reflected on how I managed to achieve this time around when I didn't achieve all the other times I've attempted a YouTube channel. And just kind of reflecting on that made me think even further about why is it that most people don't achieve their goals? Or why is it that people don't even set goals? So this is kind of the headspace that I'm in. This is very much uh, a rainy car chat, so bear with me. Now, the reason I think I've been able to achieve this milestone for myself is because I got super clear. And mind you, this is like two years ago, right? It's taken me two years. But I got so, so clear on this milestone, not just a 10,000 milestone, but like I've got I've got lots of other milestones after this and I had so many before this. But I, I guess I really got clear on my goal and my why behind my goal. I know that sounds cheesy, but you really need to have your why behind your goal because all of the times that you don't want to do the work, it's the why that is actually going to pull you through. The, the goal of starting a channel and reaching the first 1,000 or whatever your, your goal is, it's, it's really daunting because it's really overwhelming and you do not know how you're going to get there. But once you realize, depending on what your goal is, that you really have control over the input. You have control over doing the action, no matter how big or small the action is. If you focus on that, and you really, really break down your goal into tiny itty bitty steps, itty bitty increments. Like, I have no doubt that you can achieve your goal. Anyone can achieve whatever goal they have because it's, it's quite hard not to successfully do that really, really small thing. Or if you're unsuccessful at it, hopefully, hopefully it's because you've made a bit of a pivot or you've discovered something else along the way in doing that itty bitty little thing, but it's really, really hard not to do a really small thing. Anyway, going back to like why I feel like most people don't achieve their goals is because one, people do not get really, really specific about what their goal is. Just wanting something, that's not a goal. And no matter how badly you want it is just not enough. I know this from experience with people in my own life. Most people are really scared to actually go and write that goal down because I feel like once you write it down, you kind of hold yourself accountable. I write my goals down in so many different places. My holy grail is my notion board. I have my yearly goals, I have my quarterly goals, I have my monthly goals. And then I have my sort of daily journal in which I remind myself every so often what my goals are. But my point is I think most people are just afraid to figure out what that goal is and then just put in a little bit of work. Look, it might take you a few hours, it might take you half the week to just break it down into itty bitty increments. And if you can't break it down into itty bitty increments, like maybe there's something in there in itself to think about, like, why can I not break it down? Is it because I genuinely don't know what the next five steps are? Well, guess what? You just uncovered something that you can go and figure out. Or maybe you know exactly what you need to do and you're just not finding the time to do it. Well, figure out how much time you have every week, or like create little itty bitty tasks that fit into that time you have. Like you need to make it specific you need to make it smart. Basically, that's what I'm saying. You need a smart goal. <laughs> anyway, I basically just felt really compelled to do this little car chat, this car rant. I could really talk about this topic for days. But for some reason, this time around, I really, really felt compelled to talk about it because it's almost like inevitable. It's almost inevitable that you will succeed if you just put in the work to like figuring out how you can get there. I'm so, so excited by this topic. And I, I just wish, I just wish if everyone did this, how many more people would get to that place they wanted to be? Whatever that place is for you, whatever that goal is for you. Like it really all is in your control. Okay, car chat over.